everyone. Today's demonstration is going to be around main account default dimensions. Did you know Microsoft has, or D365, has over 250 pages that let you enter default dimensions? And when I saw that on Microsoft's documentation, I thought, why would they do that? And I truly believe it goes back to my accounting days when I was working in an accounting team, data entry, basically entering quite a few AP invoices manually. And in that accounting system, it was a, an old accounting system, we really had to memorize our uh, main accounts, our uh, financial dimensions. We needed the numerical number. So I had these sheets in front of me with all these uh, main account names and numbers that I essentially remembered, had them in my memory. And I would key them in, you know, as lots of invoices as fast as possible, as, as efficient as possible. And there were times when my controller would come to me and let me know I had miscoded those transactions. I think Microsoft created these default dimensions to avoid users having to memorize and for miscoding. I, I think it's wonderful. So today's demonstration I'm going to walk you through is around main account default dimensions and I'm going to show you how this works but there are over 249 other pages where this kind of um, default happened within the system. We'll talk about that on future videos. Okay, let's jump in. So here we're first we're going to go set it up. So we're going to go into general ledger under our chart of accounts, accounts, main accounts. And for this example, I'm going to use a specific account. You can use any account you, you want to. I'm just going to say in this demonstration for this other miscellaneous expense, I want to make sure my cost center is always going to be corporate. Even if the user tries to type in something different, I, I want to, to put some controls around this and say always be uh, corporate. So here under legal entity overrides, even though we're not overriding the legal entity, we are setting a default dimension on this legal entity. So you would have to set this up per legal entity. So for this um, legal entity, I want to say I want to go to my default dimension here for, for USMF. And under cost center, I'm going to say a fixed value. Now again, fixed value means even if the user selects another cost center, the voucher will always post to corporate. It's really nice. So let me show you. Um, so that is set up. And now let me go into a journal entry here. So general ledger, we'll go into journal entries, general journals. And I think I already have one started. So we'll just go into that one. Demo environments are always typically a little bit slower, but I'm going to go into new, general journal, and go into lines. Now let's see what happens when I use that other miscellaneous account. So we're just going to type 60015. And you can automatically see this cost center corporate populate. Now, if I enter something else, so if I come in here as a user and I say trade shows, and I'm just going to do test and we'll do $500. And maybe we want to reclass this to um, travel. Do we have a travel in here, travel expense. Um, and then we have a default, looks like a default dimension of trade shows here. Or actually, it's coming from this default over here. So let's just do that. Let's just try to post this. Usually I'd validate, but to save time, I'm just going to strictly go in and post. Now remember, we selected trade shows, but we have a fixed value. So there's no error that's going to pop up and let the user know that it's going to be corporate. Um, but if we look at the voucher itself, Notice this 60015 is going to be corporate no matter what the user chooses. So I think a lot of users or a lot of accountants worry about this a little bit because the user's not notified, but it is a way to make sure that if you want a cost center or some financial dimension you have to always post to that main account, this is the way to do it. 
All right, so let me show you what non-fixed means. So here we had this option to do a fixed value or non-fixed value. The only difference here from this non-fixed and fixed is that it will default into the journal entry. Let's go do that again. So I'm going to hit OK. Let's go back into our journal entries. Pick a journal name. Go to lines. We're going to do this exact same account here. Now again, cost center is going to um, be here at corporate. It's going to default, which is really nice, but a user can change it if it's non-fixed. So here, if I say another $500 and then I do the same thing for travel and I post this now, what do you think is going to happen? the voucher itself will go to trade show. It's just simply a defaulted value, but it does allow the user to change it. I hope this is helpful. I love default dimensions. It is amazing that we can set up so many areas in the system where users do not have to really touch the entry. They simply select the procurement category or item or main account, and then everything can follow either the vendor, the customer, the main account, default dimensions, derived dimensions. There's so much Microsoft has given us. So more videos to come. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.